and welcome folks. One all two, a game license of Nintendo banned by produced by Capcom. Official Hot Dukin. Looks a little weird when it's like that, but you know. Super, well, and wait for it, Super Street Fire, the new challengers. Now, this thing about this game is, uh, well, something I mentioned, for all to mention before, is that whenever it comes to versus battles, the, the, yeah, even online battles, I cannot do, so, no. I could do probably a tournament battle. Time challenge, uh, but uh, pretty much when it comes to this, ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, so yeah, you have a difficulty range for you that you can set it up to the challenge as high as you want or as easy as you want. But the thing of it is, even on easy mode, it can be very difficult to fight. And I would always recommend no, so. Uh, even in uh, the main storyline, which is not really a main storyline, because this game doesn't really have a main storyline itself. So unlike the series, yes, I know everything about the show. I can tell you a lot about the show. The show actually revolved, revolved, I mean, revolved around a main series where they were at a tournament. And, well, well, or some of it at the time anyway. Well, there's like many, there's actually there's been many variations but there's always been ultimately a tournament goal that they wanted to do. Um, and there were things they did outside the ring, blah, blah, blah. In the games, they're all pretty much the same. You just beat up a, a rival player, even if it's an NPC, whatever, you just do it. It's just like in Mortal Kombat and in Killer Instinct. Oh, and uh, whatever else other fighting game that there is. And even though I'm not really a fan of the newer games with the character editation, I, mean, I wouldn't mind made, seeing a character editation if there was, like, storylines and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, there was a game, I believe it was to do with Mortal Kombat or something like that, I saw in an arcade once a long time ago, believe it or not, where it actually had a story mode, something... Well, it, didn't, it wasn't really a story mode where they just, like, said... Blah, 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 your job is to save the city and blah, 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 blah. But it was more like, kind of like the TMNT, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Where you can actually move around instead of just walking in some kind of stage. Having to fight one dude after another. Start trying to beat him. And again, this is not one of those absolute playthroughs or anything like that. So, you know, like with a storyline and an ending. You just, basically, once you get to the final deal... Some of these games actually have Akuma, and Akuma is a character, is a, is a, basically a secret, I mean, let me really start that over. Akuma is a secret character that you can unlock, but you have to do certain things. There's also another game, I can't think of it now, it's called, oh yeah, Ihejai's, it's also, it has, uh, like, different kind of stuff, uh, but the main one is very stupid, and it's kind of dumb. Uh, but, anyway, the graphics are great, the controls are awesome, but the bad problem is you can easily get overwhelmed, especially in the stages when you go up against P NPCs, uh, when you go for the tournament rounds, and stuff like that, you know? So, but anyway, in this game particularly, uh, I'm not really gonna do anything much just showing this off. So, but, yeah, I mean, every game is probably the same. You just beat up some guys. There is one guy that's not always in there. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even in the original uh, movies, most of the series either, and I can't think of his name now, but... Uh, it's a guy that you fight before in Bison. Yeah, the guy we always known as Master Bison. For many years, he even translated into the cartoons, and then they waited several decades later. I mean, absolutely several decades later to tell us 
that's not his name. It's something else. And somebody else was named M. Bison or whatever. But, you know, you wait till this long for us to, to do that. I'm not going to call him by that name. Because it's too damn... It's too many centuries late for one. Or two, let's not start getting that stupid tradition going because it's dumb. I don't care if it was meant to be originally... I mean, you don't wait till several years later after your game's been released and everything else, uh, you know, and then and, and start telling people, well, it was actually, it's actually uh, not in Bison, it's meant to be something else. I mean, like, you're expecting people to start calling him that, and it's not. So, uh, yeah. So, but I'm always going to call him in Bison, or rather, not in Bison, but Master, or, yeah, just in Bison for short. That's what I always am knowing him as in the arc in these arcade games, stuff like that. I remember arcade games, especially Area 51. Uh, and it's Area 51 kind of plays similar to what you would be fighting, or I mean, not fighting, but finding if you were to go to Area 51. But the difference is, is that Area 51 is way more complicated. Area 52 has the same kind of agenda. So, so from what I've heard. I've never actually been there, but I can dare and damn to you the Area 51 and Area 52 are secret government facilities that no one, and I mean no one can get into, not even a terrorist organization. I know I shouldn't be saying that word, but yeah, they, it would be hard to find unless you've got into some secret communiques and stuff like that, uh, and even then, it's kind of hard to get into them. So, there's not really much choice in between the two, so really, it just, I couldn't tell you what's inside of them, and there's supposed to be some kind of vault or something, I don't know. All I do know is that, you know, it's just crazy. That, and the game doesn't exactly necessarily ref reflect everything of area, what Area 5051 is, I guess it's what it's supposed to be, but it's not. I guarantee to you. As great as the game was, yeah, there was also Centipede. I remember those games. Pac-Man. Oh, my God. I remember all that. And, uh, so, there's a lot of games I may not know anything about. I'm, you know, I've never even played. But there's games I, you know, know that I've picked up here and there over time and played on my own. It just depends on whether or not there's been a storyline or I've actually just kind of... You know, for go to sometimes I pro I, you know you'll probably run across no doubt in the future I will be have found some games that I've actually run across on my own that I played uh, never really beaten it or anything special and if I have well then you know it just depends on what it is I yeah pretty much anymore I try not to beat anything with a storyline um, basically. Uh, but Street Fighter, yeah, let's just go back to that, so this, this is what this is about anyway. See, Street Fighter is, like, basically, a, just like any other tournament-based games. There is a game that I've never even heard of with TMNT. Yes, I've heard TMNT before. I have heard of them. There are games I've never heard of before. Um, they're recently got my hands on, t uh, not only by the cartridge, but I've actually gotten, uh... You know, the game downloaded because it's the only way I can record and play. So, anyway, but I haven't actually gotten the Team NT tournament one. I just got another, uh, you know. But yeah, I mean, literally, um, yeah, it's just, it's crazy that all these things are going on. Uh, Streets of Rage, I've heard about, really got into it. Be honest with you, never even know really beyond what I know, which was years later about it. Uh, when I first heard about it, like, eh, okay, yeah, whatever. So, because I mean, it's just like only so much you can, I guess, you can take at the time when you're, you're younger, I guess. <laughs> but I've always been a, like a sort of a gamer my whole life, not a hardcore gamer, maybe hardcore enough to be classic and. and play what I like to play, I, you know, that's about it, really, you know, so, anyway, always recommend it being stereo, if you have a, to 
you have to have a monorail. Well, as far as I know about monorail or mono for short, because that's what some of the things do. Yeah, because I guess they couldn't fit it in there or whatever. But anyway, there's not really any audio to that. If there is, it's like a uh, little slight variation, but the stereo is always better. Even if you have like one stereo, or excuse me, one speaker, I should say more like, uh, yeah, it's always better to have stereo because it sounds way better. And as I remember a long time ago when I messed with uh, settings of Monorail and I'm trying to listen to sounds, there was nothing to it. It was like, what is this? You know, or it sounded like some of it was the background. It's like you might as well go with all the other. Stuff, but see, monorail is not exactly something I would ever recommend, personally. Um, unless you've got a weird kind of system that's set up for that, I guess. I don't know too much about the monorail system beyond what I know, what I've experienced and stuff. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just a certain system that you have to have. Something. All I know beyond that is that, and that it just doesn't work. <laughs> I said I'd never had it work anyway, but not that I really care. So, but see, stereo is always better than mono. And I'm not going to say here and say that digital is better than uh, analog or analog is better than digital. It would be better depending on what the hell you're talking about. But again, in an instance, well, not again, why do I say that? I mean, in the instance of a controller, analog and digital are better together because there are a lot of things even the analog stick can't do that the digital can, which is kind of crazy why you would have it there at all for, like, movements and stuff in the game. But, hey, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, like, especially, like, when you do certain uh, things you have to do to complete it in order to do, like, certain missions that have anything to do with the main storyline or whatever... Yeah, it's just crazy the way that goes. Analog, in my personal opinion, is way better for a lot of different reasons. For like, uh, really, you know, for movement ratio. But digital is a lot can be also much more easier to do. And it depends on as well what system and uh, uh, what you're used to and everything else. But see, I I remember being both. And I have had a time where I, it was before analog, so yeah. So, yeah, basically, if you got this, man, you got you're getting good. I mean, I remember all the games, but the thing of it is, again, they're all pretty much the same. You know, the only difference is that they have more characters in a lot of newer games, and blah 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 blah. It's crazy. It's just like, yeah, Tekken. Tekken is a thing. It doesn't even have a uh, main story or anything. Like in uh, the movies, I believe it was, or whatever. Like Mortal Kombat, you know. <laughs> What's the, you know, the thing of it is, is that with Mortal Kombat, the movies, they didn't make any much sense in accordance to the game because... It wasn't exactly your typical average, uh, you know, tournament where you fought, or excuse me, where the characters fought each other like they did in the games, uh, you know, per session until they got to the final enchilada or final dude they had to face, whoever that was. There's been so many different ones uh, throughout the ages before you get to the final, final dude or whatever, whoever, even the whatever in the uh, games anyway but in the series there's not been anything that I know of maybe in the mangas and whatever books that have to do with this main storyline because there is definitely a main storyline to everything it's just game wise you'll never see anything like oh learning oh uh, yeah you uh, congratulations you won that's it Puh. Just like when you beat a component, it only it's like, yeah, you basically beat the game. Big deal. I mean, there, there's nothing going on like, in, for example, like in the the ending of uh, Zelda. Uh, the, I've never seen it, but I'm sure there is an ending there. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, like... That. 
or, your, or everything goes back to peaceful times, blah, blah, blah. You know how a game would generally end with its uh, main ending storyline, plot-wise. So, uh, I know a, a perfect one station is better that I have seen, which is Mystic Quest. And, you know, because they went to peaceful times, except that they went off on an adventure that never got released. So, whatever. I'd like to see that game actually come back in a sequel sense to uh, be honest with you. Because I'd like to see that game actually continue on with those characters. You know what I'm saying? You know, because really, that game was interesting. And although there probably had to be some new elements added to it, like summons and stuff like that. Uh, and basically, a basically, if I can speak, basically a party formation that wasn't originally there. When the game was originally created, uh, you know, like in other words, uh, you only had like two. Well, you should have at least five characters, four to five characters, like in any other game. Uh, any other, because not all of them had where you have up to five characters. You only have up to four max. A lot of times you might get temporary characters. Some of the games you get, it's crazy to just have games to do that, but they do, in essence. But, honestly, it's not a bad thing. And I gotta say, though, Street Fighter is an excellent game if you love and enjoy... I don't really... I wouldn't say I really love it, but I do enjoy it from time to time. Uh, not that I've been recently playing it or anything like that, but I have played it before, yeah. So, I'm not gonna lie on that one. Not that I have been lying, but I mean, you know, in other words, I'm not going to hide it either. Uh, and I'm not going to pretend like, oh, I've never played this before, I don't know nothing about it. Now, actually, there are things that I won't pretend at all, period. I, you know what, what am I saying? I don't, I don't even pretend at all, period. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Sorry, I'm not... I'm tired, okay? I've never pretended in my entire life. But anyway, unless you count, like where I voice act things, and yeah, okay. So, in essence, yeah, I mean, Street Fighter... Street, yeah, in essence, Street Fighter is basically a game that everyone should be able to enjoy if that's what you want to enjoy. But everyone, which I really kind of hate it that way because it's more of a con contradiction, and I hate contradictions. But anyway... What I mean, what I should say, more like, is what what I mean, and I'm going to, anyway, is that a lot of people who actually enjoy just basically having a good old time, you know, having fun, there's nothing else to do. You know, kind of like when you do a builder type game, I mean, it's, you know, life ain't all about beating up other people and all, and building up things either, you know. It's not even just about watching TV, it's about being able to enjoy life, no matter how you can do that so like people have forms of arts now lots of people are so talented and have genogenic and able to do many many things be able to run an establishment of some sort um whether it's all of the above or not but uh like especially if they have arts uh whether it's included or not you know uh swimming building uh having a home life with their family, their whatever else is going on, you know, running an art museum, all kinds of things, including building computers, making cars, all kinds of things. I can't think of everything off the top of my head, but you get the idea, hopefully, because there's just so many people out there that can do, like, certain amount of things some people can't do, but more than one or two, you know, um, you know, things in life. Even if they have a family or don't, doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters if they have it, don't get me wrong. But I mean, as far as being able to, I wouldn't say juggle, but being able to have it all together, you know? So that's how you could be able to, to enjoy life. And it's crazy to think that people have that, but it's not crazy like it's a bad thing. No, it's just, wow. 
simply amazing. I mean, you would you couldn't be able to, to tell that life would be so absolutely fantastic and amazing. If that's even a word, I'm not really sure. Anyway, so, but yeah, I mean that people just do such things and can do it without hesitation. It's like, man, you're really you got it going on. You know, and I have to admit, nothing would be more fantastic or, per or good enough than that. I mean, you don't have to have more than one <laughs> deal where you can actually do that, but I mean, you know, it takes constant concentration a lot of times. Uh, not always, but I mean, like, you know, focusing, being able to do what you want to do in life, even if it's all above, even if you're creating videos, making websites, making products, stuff like that, you know, building a community, stuff like that, you just, you never know what people can do. I just thought of some more. I wasn't even trying to think of it, to be honest with you, but I mean, not that I wouldn't have eventually, but, I mean, at the moment, but anyway... Yeah, I'm just saying. Anyway, so Street Fighter, if you like the game, hey, I definitely should check it out. I hopefully you do. If not, well, at least give it a try. Uh, regardless of whether you see your before or after the fact that I actually play this game, if and when I do. So, it's something I'm planning on doing. But, not right now. Not in the, this case. Uh, sometime in the future, maybe. I mean... I shouldn't be showing off so many previews, but it's something to do. It's something for Sunday, at least, because otherwise, without that, Sunday would be nothing but a blank slot. I mean, I suppose I could make, um, well, I could make something three days, but if I did that, you know, it'd be weird. Or I guess I could make, like, Sunday, uh, a three-day video where I go, well, okay, here's Chrono Trigger... Uh, Zelda or whatever game I've got going on and then Brain Lord you know for three videos on Sunday I could do that but I haven't yet I still haven't recorded anything for uh, Brain Lord the last one I did was where I did some more training because I lost either I lost my shield and everything and I still haven't had a chance to really look up a book or I mean a guide I mean I don't know what the hell I gotta do to be honest so, either way, I probably could save this for that, but these kind of games, I would say more or less, are the kind that I would say for a three-day video, I mean, three videos, uh, you know, like building-type games, this kind of thing. I wouldn't exactly say it's just a, more than just like a uh, main plot line would be something that would be for three videos a day, but, you know, whatever. That's just my thing. I mean... It doesn't really have to be or not be, basically. It doesn't really matter. It's just a three-video day. I mean, what are you going to do on Sunday? You, you know, you could just leave Sunday alone and have nothing going on if you want to. If you're doing, you know, videos and stuff. I said this before and I'll say it again. I believe that everybody deserves a chance to do whatever the hell they want to on the internet. But you're not going to get as good as what a lot of other higher people are. Hell, I'm not even as good as uh, 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 getting as good. And even they say that they're not. Even though they've got like a lot of different people watching them. Because they got like billions of views. Billions of subscribers. Well, actually probably only like in the millions. But that's beside the point. You know, and they got a lot of crap ton of videos and stuff like that. And, well, hell, even if they didn't, they still got a lot of subscribers. And a lot of, you know, and these people actually earn them. Not just like, oh, constantly saying that they subscribe, subscribe, you know, whatever. But, you know, and not just in my book, but that is part of it, yeah. So they did burn them because they didn't. It's just like feel free to, to subscribe, you know. Honestly, I mean, I'm not looking for subscribers, but it would be nice. 
And I am tired of these damn bots coming in here, changing their name, changing their logo. I mean, not that I don't change my logo from time to time, but I don't constantly change my name. I don't constantly go up there and post on someone else's videos a lot, because I have a lot I got going on myself. So even if I wasn't doing this, I still have other things I like to do. I do like to play video games, I like to watch TV. But there are other things I don't like to do, but I do them anyway. I believe in doing the right thing. Although there are certain limits I will not go to, like, you know, having inappropriateness with someone. I will not go that far. I mean, I would if it was between me and my lover, and I would, you know, that's something I would mind doing. That's something more enjoyable. But, I mean, I mean in other words, people I don't really care for, uh, you know, in other words, I wouldn't do that with. But that's beside the point. That's neither here nor there. Uh, and that's just being inappropriate. In other words, I mean, even then, I wouldn't go too dang far with it. I wouldn't go talking about the toilet or anything like that. That's that's beyond my uh, jurisdiction, so to speak. But anyway, yeah. So, yeah. And there's that. So, anyway, stay tuned for another episode. I'll see y'all in the next episode, whenever that will be. Not anytime soon. But some someday. Some point. Later. Bye bye. This has been DVD Can't Be the Best Name in the House. Plays Street Fighter. Or rather introduces it to you. <laughs>